Hey everyone, it's a late afternoon fossil hunt. I've already crossed two rivers, <laughs> might have to cross a third. Going to a new area where I'm hoping there's going to be a penguin. Or something cool at least. <laughs> well, I'll settle for a fossil. I think it's Miocene, um, middle to late Miocene. So it could be penguins around, maybe another shark tooth. We'll have to see. A lot of rocks around, I haven't seen any concretion or fossil looking ones yet. This looks like a really good layer for shark teeth. Have a look at that shell layer going through there. Looks to be a lag layer. I wonder if there'll be shark teeth in there. No reason it wouldn't be there. Let's take a close look, see if I see anything shiny and shark like. Hmm. Let me know if you see something on screen. You can always come back and fetch it. not seeing anything on the surface and I try not to dig into cliffs <laughs> how's that for a shell layer <laughs> that's amazing that is so cool look at all those shells interesting places. Lots of little hidden coves and bits of shell. Very strange. Tons literally of fossil shells. So many cool layers. Look at this one. It's got some siltstone over here. Different layers up the top. taking a bit of a different approach today. I'm looking in the shallow water, seeing what there is to see. Nothing much yet. Lots of rocks, and lots of bits of jasper as well. There's one over there. Um, where is it there? Not many fossils yet. They will be here though. Just finding the right place, the right spot. The growth on the rocks makes it a little bit harder see if there's any bones sticking out of the rock. So I'm going quite slowly. I finally see my first fossil and it's a big one. It's in frame now, see if you can see it. Looks like a big whale vertebra. Have a look at that. <laughs> that is enormous. 
I think that's my biggest whale fish. <laughs> Is it even vertebra? Yeah, it's a vertebra. Oh man. Look at that. I think it's a vertebra. <laughs> I think that's worth taking home just because of the size. Look at that. That is a monster. That is a crazy big vertebra. Look at it compared to my hammer. I'll just wait for all these little snails and things to get off. Oh wow. That's a chunky bird. I'm gonna stash it here and I'll get it on the way back. <laughs> but man, that's enormous. <laughs> Wonder where the rest of the whale is. It couldn't have gone too far. Look at the size of that. <laughs> the skull must be like car sized. <laughs> I wonder what whale it would have been. When did blue whales come around? Because this thing's big. And a tiny bit of bone. Part of a vertebra. It's modern though. That is huge. Look at it stashed away, but surely. One of these boulders over here is the rest of it. That's truly enormous. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> what a good find. The biggest whale vertebra I've found. That's a pretty incredible jasper down there. Oh, look at those colors. Some yellows and greens and purples in there. Quite cool, nice shapes as well. You have to keep an eye on the weather, it's clouding over really quickly. I don't know if there's a storm coming. Not too long ago I could see that headland over there very clearly. Now it's clouded over. I haven't found anything since that large whale vertebra. I'm tempted to go to one of my regular spots while I still have some daylight left to find something. I just have a good feeling about this area. Oh, Tony's crab. <laughs> that almost looked like bone at first. I don't think it is. Hmm. Maybe? I'll put it somewhere in case I need to find it again. But I'm not sure about that one. I also don't really know what bone would look like here. Is a really nice shell. Might be able to get it out in one piece. I think that's all in one piece. <laughs> it's always a good idea to make a bit of noise as you go through these little blind corners in case there's a seal sleeping on the other side. You don't want to give them a fright. <whistles> See any 
seals. <laughs> Just using the camera as kind of a mirror. Looks safe enough. That side too. There's always seals around. So many of these little bits of fossil coral. I think it's coral or barnacle. So many bits of them around here. And there's a nice gastropod. Yeah, that's a fossil one as well. Let's focus. Oh. Mostly whole. I think it's just the interior mold of it. That's cool. <laughs> Very tiny. Easy to carry back home. It's getting dark, so it's time to start heading back. I still have that big whale bird to carry back home. I've stashed it on the way back. And the tide's starting to push a little bit, so it's getting a bit sketchy. I really can't resist. Modern bones, I always have to look at them. There's one sticking out over there, I think. I think it's a bone anyway. But yeah, it looks like a rib. <laughs> Must be a sheep or something. It's always cool to see them. Always try and picture what it would look like in a piece of rock, what you would see. If you just saw that sticking out, it would be really difficult to ID as a rib. This is from a sheep, so it's quite large. Something smaller like a penguin would be so difficult to see just sticking out of a piece of rock. A sponge, I think. That's pretty cool. I think that's a sponge here. I don't know if I've got one like this. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Just some random shapes on that one. Here are today's finds. Really not bad for a new spot. <laughs> I was hoping I'd find a fossil and I found a pretty good one. And some jaspers and this mystery one. I'm not sure what this is. I thought it could be a sponge or a coral. If you know what it could be, please let me know. It's got those three symmetrical dots there. I saw near some four ones on that side no idea what that is here are the three jaspers I brought home I found quite a few but these were the nicer ones I like this one it's got like a dark purple with some green and yellow going through it this one doesn't look as good outside of the water but it's it was a really bright red color in the water Got a few bits of quartz in there. I think this is my favorite one. It's got some yellow and reds going through it. I do find these quite often, this jasper with the yellow and the red. And I've had a piece cut open and polished. And it comes out quite well. You can see as the light hits it. Those are almost like a, a type of metal. I'm not sure what it would be. Either metal or mineral, but it's very metallic looking. There's some over there as well. Yeah, it's very cool. It's like little rivers going through it. Yes, that's very big whale vertebra. 
This used to be my biggest whale vertebra, which I found about two years ago. One of my first videos, that one. But this is definitely bigger and much heavier. It's got some really nice preservation of the honeycombing, especially over there. It's just beautiful. <laughs> it's a chunky whale bird. They're not very useful for um, telling what species of whale it is, especially like this one, which is very worn. You can see it's missing the process and would have come off there. But at least you can tell how big the whale kind of would have been. And this would have been a very big whale. Well, not very big, but for this time period, it would have been quite a big whale. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. It's always good going to a new location. If you would like one of these bits of Jasper, uh, leave a comment below and just start it with giveaway. And I'll pick three at random and send you one of these pieces. I'll see you all on the next hunt. Stay safe out there.